Hi, and welcome to another episode of Ask WordFence. Several of our customers have asked, is it necessary to hide the default WordPress login page? No, it's absolutely not necessary to hide the default WordPress login page, and in this episode, I'll explain why. Early security plugins included this as a feature along with features like changing the database prefix and really in the security industry, we call this security through obscurity. It's hiding data away from hackers but not actually putting up a wall or a barrier between them and the data. And so it doesn't provide any real protection, it just tries to make it slightly more difficult for attackers to attack WordPress websites but doesn't provide any real tangible security. The problem with hiding the default WordPress login page is it breaks, uh, potentially breaks WordPress when you inst install this or activate this feature. Uh, it's known to cause a lot of uh, instability or it can be a little bit risky. Uh, it can break certain customized themes and so on. The other thing is that it confuses users and there's not really any tangible gain. And so it's, we don't advise doing it and we have purposely not included this as a feature in uh, WordFence. Uh, because of the, the risk and the fact that it's completely ineffective. Uh, most WordPress sites are actually hacked through compromised plugins or themes or through exploits uh, targeting WordPress core. And so uh, brute force attacks, while there uh, are many, many brute force attacks targeting WordPress sites on the web, they're actually relatively ineffective. But you can defeat brute force attacks very easily using a, a wide range of techniques. One of the things you can do is install WordFence and just leave it. Uh, WordFence by default protects against brute force attacks. So if an attacker exceeds a certain number of guesses, they're locked out. They don't get any more tries. And so that's one way to protect against brute force attacks. Another way is if you install WordFence Premium, that includes our blacklist. And what WordFence does is we monitor attacks across all of the sites that we protect. And as soon as we see someone misbehaving, we add their IP address to the blacklist and they don't get to attack any more websites. And so likely someone who's gonna attack your site with a brute force attack has already been blocked by our blacklist and they're not even gonna have a, uh, the opportunity to make one attempt at uh, guessing your username and password. So the blacklist is an extremely effective way to protect against brute force attacks. Another way to protect uh, against these kinds of attacks is with two-factor authentication, which is also included in WordFence Premium. You can also use strong passwords, and of course, WordFence uh, Premium includes the ability to audit your passwords, including your user passwords, to see if anyone has a weak password, and then it gives you a way to mitigate that to actually uh, ensure that those passwords get changed into strong passwords by the, the users or the account owner. Um, another thing that you can do is use non-default usernames. For example, change your admin username to something non-obvious, and that makes it harder for attackers to uh, to guess your username and your password. But really the most effective thing you can do is just install WordFence with basic brute force protection. And if, if they ha they'll have a couple of guesses and then they'll get locked, uh, locked out. And if you have premium installed, the blacklist has probably already locked anyone who's gonna try and attack your site out because they've already attacked a bunch of other sites or one or two other sites and we've seen them do that and we've added their IP to the blacklist. So WordFence Premium does an amazing job of uh, protecting against brute force attacks. But again, brute force attacks are not the most common way that WordPress sites are compromised. It's through exploits that target plugins, themes, and core. And the way you protect against that is you install a firewall. Now, WordFence, the free version, comes with the best firewall in the business. Uh, it protects against a bunch of different complex attacks, including SQL injection and so on. We have a very sophisticated SQL injection engine in the firewall. It can protect against zero day attacks, attacks that we don't even know about. It'll detect those attacks and, and block them. And so you really wanna focus your energy on the area of your site that is most likely to get compromised. So you know, go ahead and use those techniques that I've mentioned and, and lock down your, your login system. Don't bother changing uh, the location of your login system. It's just gonna confuse your users. Use those techniques to, to give you real security when it comes to your login system and then focus most of your energy on making sure that your firewall is correctly configured because that's the most likely way that your site might get hacked. What will happen is a, a vulnerability will appear in a plugin or a theme that you use and the author might not know about it or you might not have updated to the fixed version yet and you could get hacked, but if you have a good firewall in place, you'll get protected against that. And so that's the area that you really wanna focus your energy on. 
Uh, our learning center uh, on wordfence.com forward slash learn has a really great article on how to harden your WordPress site. So if you want to learn more about hardening your WordPress site, I recommend you go through that. And there's a bunch of other resources in our learning center, which are incredibly uh, helpful if you want to learn more about WordPress security. Thanks very much to our customers who wrote in and asked about this. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and I'll see you next time.